Hey, calm down. You have kidnapped us. Some people are missing till now. Our properties were taken. Thanks for the soldiers. Our drivers and others are missing. We just the talk and say these people they worry. Oh, we just they talk for see. We see on our we just talk. We say thank God on our day. We they talk him. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Now well, welcome to this Facebook page and YouTube channel. You have to come back again. I tell you how things you go matter the play for Nigeria. And they are to bring come on our doorstep, make you the things you unfold. We are wasting much of our time. That's I go one play with our video. Hey, now be smart, you know. You stick your time and watch this video. See people where they come for travel, see what the arm robber, full and he me, kidnappers, see what they do there for road. Hey, Nigeria, that country is finished, eh? We are fighting over one issue here. Yeah. Another issue, see there on that side where they torment the citizens. Guys, take your time, just watch this video. See what Bola Ahmed 15 Ibu has brought to Nigeria. Look at the atrocity that is taking place in the country. Kidnapper, criminals, a lot of evil that is looming in the land. Please, guys, watch this video. I will beg you, eh? Please, share this video. Because the world needs to know what is going on in Nigeria. Just hear what the soldier tell to these people. He said, Now let me change Jeff Owner like these are people who are under distress. You are still threatening them. Ah man, that country, eh? that country, Nigeria. Eh? The forces, the president, the governor, all of them, they are they are all one. Just take your time and watch this video. They will come back to put our own take. Please do me a favor. Share this video, please. Share this video to you know to save a soul in Nigeria. A lot is going on in that country. I understand we are discussing about you know junior pope and others, but Nigeria to be precise, that country, a lot is really going on. A lot is going on. Please share this video, I beg you. Watch they will come back. They came to kidnap us. Like, hey, come this side. Who are the here now? I'm help you. Give me for the help of Nigerian army. Hey, come down. They have kidnapped us. Some people are missing till now. Our properties were taken. Thanks for the soldiers. Our drivers and others are missing. We just they talk and say these people they worry. Oh, we just they talk for see. We see on our when we just talk. We say thank God on our day. We they talk him. Are you, are you, oh. We did hear one gunshot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's me, Comedy Key Andrew, along Patani uh, Ugeli Road. They are serious arm robbers. They are full and we saw them clearly. They are full and people with guns. They butcher some people among us. They collected our money. The dealer of this to us, but thank God to Igbesu for keeping me strong and alive. And thanks also to the Nigerian soldier who came to rescue us. Some people are still missing, but we know they will see them out. Hmm. Nigerians, when I see what's they happen for the country, when I see what Nigeria don't see, these things are not new, anyways. They are not new. We've been discussing about this whole issue for a very long time. Fulani Esme, kidnapping, criminals, bandits. We've been discussing about this issue for a very long time. But it seems that the government, they are not doing anything about it. They don't want to face this issue. They allow this people to torment the country, to be harassing innocent citizens. This is heartbreaking. Bola Ahmed 15 Ibu, what is going on? Look at your, your your citizen. Look at your citizens. They are all in big stress now. They cannot go out. They cannot come in. Fulani Esmen has taken over the full country. Fulani Esmen have hijacked the full country. Anybody that is going to Lagos, Fulani Esmen will attack them. Anybody that is going to Delta State, Fulani Esmen will attack them. Like, just tell me, where is safe in Nigeria now? No, we want to know where is safe in Nigeria. 
Because you cannot tell me Nigeria is safe. People are scared like this. People cannot go out. People cannot come in. Now look at this people. Now they are coming for travel or they are going to their destination. They met with bandits on their way going or on their way coming. If not for Nigeria soldier, I understand. See, yes, eh? <laughs> which one is my talk now? Eh? If not for Nigeria soldier, but I know, see, eh, more hospital like that. If not for these Nigeria soldiers, then maybe many of them, because according to this guy, he says some of them has been taken away. They butcher some of them. They stole their money, stole their bags. Stole... Look, he tell me now, what are these people doing in Nigeria? Full on it. The Nigerian government, they haven't settled this issue, but they will come out with one or two stories that is not making sense. But I meant if you who came out, oh, national anthem is our problem. Like who told you national anthem is our problem? We have big issue that you refuse to solve. Now you are bringing irrelevant things for people to follow up with. Like how? Why? We have big problem out there. We have some people out there who are tormenting the citizens. The government haven't done anything about it. Citizens are scared. They are scared of going out and coming in. They are scared. Those that live in Western world, they are scared of going home. They are scared a lot is going on in the country. How can people survive this in Nigeria? No, Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu, since you came into office, you haven't solved anything in that country from one problem to another. Now we are discussing about Fulani Esme, bandit, kidnapper, criminals. We are discussing about these, these people now. Talk about the hunger in the country. No, talk about the hunger in the country. People are hungry. A lot is going on. Like, Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu came into power, he turned the country upside down. Nothing is working. Everything is stuck. But if we come aside to lie, he is doing this, he is doing that, but we are not seeing anything. A year plus now in office, this man has not done nothing. Just a year in office, look at what the country has turned into. Bola met Tiftinibu. Look at what the country has turned into. Just a year. It's not even up to a year and one month. Look at what the country has turned into. Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu, what are you doing in that office? The citizens are crying. People are crying. See, a lot is going on. This man is not doing anything. Make could not put end to this banditry. See, you chase these people out from Nigeria. Chase them out from Nigeria. These guys are not Nigerians. From Chad, from Cameroon, from uh, all this Niger, all those zones. They are from this area. They don't belong to Nigeria. They are not Nigerian citizens. But just because they speak Muslim, Arabic, they would think these guys are... They are not Nigerians. They came to Nigeria to constitute nuisance, attack innocent citizens. Imagine... Nigeria government will allow these people to be walking around with fire hands. Like who does that? Who does that? So this set of people was supposed to be in, like supposed to arrest these people. It is because Nigeria government gave the gave them the power to do all this nonsense, gave them the power to be walking around freely with fire hands. That is why you are seeing all this kidnapping and whatever in the country today. It is because of the, the right or the power Nigerian government gave to them. That is why they are doing all this nonsense. Imagine when you arrest these people, lock them up like life imprisonment. Things will change in Nigeria. But because the government does things with these people, that is why this Fulani Esme have the nerve to come outside to be harassing innocent citizens. They will go to your farm, they will spoil your crops, everything. The government will not apprehend these people. They will allow them to go freely. Like who does that? Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu, Nigerians, 
I understand say this one don't do. But make una think o twenty twenty seven. Make una think o. Make una not let it see. I understand say yes. This time they still demand it. We know see they still demand it, but since they say twenty twenty seven, okay. Make una get sense so. Make una get sense twenty twenty seven. Make una get sense. Cause me right from China, Peter Obi me had the support. I stood with Peter Obi. I stand with Peter Obi. Come rain, come sun. I'm with him 24 7. Come 2027, I will support Peter Obi. For sure, for president. Because I know with Peter Obi, a new Nigeria is possible. But you see, with this government, Bola Ahmed Siftinibu, it's a downfall. It's a no, no, no. It's a no, no, no to the country, to the economy, to everything. It's a no, no, no. So Nigeria make no guesses. If now one made eradicates Fulani Esme, bandits, Boko Haram, see, let's put tribe outside. We all need to come together and support this goal. In new Nigeria is possible. Votes Peter will be 2027. Peter will be 2027. That's how we end this video. Coming, please. please help me to share this video. Share this video as you do so. God bless you. And give this video thumbs up. I beg you. Give the video thumbs up. Allow YouTube to help us to share the video out. The more thumbs up you give, the more YouTube recommend this video out. And please, subscribe to this, my YouTube channel, Ogi Family Phone TV. Next month is my holiday. This month, I'm preparing. So if you, if you know you want to win 150 euro, please, subscribe here because I'm going to be posting five countries. In these five countries, I'm going to one inside. So you're going to write it out under the comment section. Choose. This country, that country, that country, that country. So you're going to choose to win 150 euro. So I will drop the... So please subscribe to this YouTube channel for you to be informed whenever I post the video because I'm not going to post it on Facebook or any other platform. YouTube, if you know you want to win this 150 euro, you need to subscribe and follow up to on your notification. Not when I post the video next day on Facebook, you're going to say, oh, pick it. No, everything will happen on youtube so you got to subscribe to win 150 euro as you do so god bless you see you guys in my next video stay safe guys and bye bye